Good morning, good afternoon, good night guys. What is up, it's Jojo and we are back in Disney Springs. Friday means new WandaVision cake and there's this new Valentine's Day treat that I wanna try, it looks delicious. It's gonna be a fun vlog. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. Shout out to John for actually sending me a gift card, which is allowing me to get the WandaVision cake because these cakes are $20 a pop. And this is my sixth week now, I think? Fifth? Fifth. This is my fifth, so it's adding up. I appreciate it. Let's get this vlog started. Springs is definitely not as busy on a Friday afternoon. Last time I was here, it was Saturday, and it was a lot more packed. Now, as I'm walking over the Emirates to pick up my cake, I wanted to say real quick, episode five of WandaVision was amazing. Now it's in full swing. I love how they cut from the sitcom back to reality. And you learn a lot in this episode, and I'm not gonna spoil anything, but make sure you stay until the end of the video of that episode because something happens at the end which is mind-blowing and implicates so much more for the future of the Marvel series in general. Okay, a little update and honestly, this makes sense. The cake stayed the same. They do have these really cool new cakes though. They have these soul cakes uh, and Tiana. Okay, it's from the Celebrate Soulfully, you know, because it's Black History Month, which makes total sense. That's kind of dope. However, the cake is staying the same, so we will not actually be purchasing one because I got this last week. All of these look delicious, and I'll tell you right now, the WandaVision cake is really good. I tried this one last week. Top right corner if you want to check it out. Man, got to look forward to next week now. So we are going to actually have to wait until next week to try a new WandaVision cake because there wasn't a new WandaVision cake this week. And the reason for that is because in the actual episodes, episode four wasn't in the sitcom. It was like kind of like a recap slash summary of the first three episodes. Episode five actually was in the 80s. That's why I was confused because last week when I got it, I'm like, we haven't seen the scene yet, so it makes sense that they're having two weeks of the same WandaVision cake. I'm sure next week will be in the 90s or even in the 2000s. Then that's when we'll try a new cake. Make sure you uh, subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss out on that video. However, there still is some crazy Valentine's Day snack I want to try here at Disney Springs, so the vlog's not over yet. Now, as you saw in Emirates, they have this whole celebration going on. Celebrate Soulfully. In Epcot, they have a new soul uh, jazz exhibit. Here in Springs, they're celebrating as well. Join us in honor of Black History Month. Smooth Sundays, Motown Mondays, Easy Jazz Thursdays. Here are the set times, 5.15, 6.15, 7.15, 8.15. And because today is Friday, they don't have anything going on. They have La Calais weather permitting. Interesting, love that, you gotta check it out. Since it's past February 1st, they actually got more Baby Yoda stuff in here. I told you I'd come back. I bought that shirt, I love it. I did a full review on that. Top right corner if you wanna check it out. However, now we have a couple new things right here. We got the child like almost like yoga pants, that's kinda cool. We have these little crop tops right here. Love that, love that. This is all streetwear, you know, stuff that you can just kinda put on. You got beanies up here, that's dope, love that. This is cool, I like this, I like this a lot. I'm keeping my eye out for new WandaVision merchandise, however, I have not seen anything here in Disney World. I know Disneyland is starting to get stuff. Disneyland actually has a cool like magic moment with WandaVision, I'll leave a picture of that right here. Boop, it just came out today, which is dope. Also, something that's kind of funny, uh, they do have a ton of Black Widow merchandise. Now, if you don't know the story behind this, a movie was supposed to come out for this, but it hasn't yet. So they have all this merchandise and no one's really been buying it from what I've seen because like the movie hasn't come out yet, but it's here. So yeah, I've never seen this spirit jersey, Cloud City. That's kind of wavy. We are now at Marketplace Snacks. They've been killing it with the treats recently. Here is a new Valentine's Day treat. A swirl of Dole Whip, strawberry and chocolate soft serve of chocolate dipped strawberry garnish. Only $5.49. I'm gonna try this out right now. Oh my gosh. This looks insane. This looks amazing. It looks delicious. It's melting in the sun, but I gotta get a good pick of it. Look at it. There's a strawberry. I'm excited to try this for myself. Okay. Here we go. This thing's starting to melt real quick, so I wanna try it. Got some of the chocolate and the strawberry right here. So, I personally love strawberry Dole Whip. They had it in the Hey Hey cone, so I already love that. And there's actually a really nice blend of flavors between the strawberry and the chocolate right now. 
I'm a big fan of Dole Whip. Not really ice cream, but this is really good so far. It's not chocolate Dole Whip, but the chocolate actually complements this strawberry Dole Whip very nicely. This is melting quick, I'll tell you that much. It's really good. This is a solid, this is a solid eight out of 10 for me. I know I say that a lot, but I actually really like this snack. Yep, it's good. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it all. That was good. Something really cool is that it actually is garnished on the side with these little, it's actually rimmed with like rainbow hearts which is super cute. Love that, love that. The most exciting part, it comes with a strawberry. There's glitter on this thing. Here we go. Wow. This is really, really good. That strawberry, it's fresh. That is really yummy. That's a fresh strawberry. That's really good. This alone is like a solid 9 out of 10. Okay, my ice cream is melting. That's the only thing. It is a very hot day. That's why I usually don't get uh, Dole Whip, especially on hot days, because I can't eat it quick enough. This is really good. Personally, I still like the watermelon Dole Whip more, but this is really good. I never had Dole Whip and chocolate together. It's actually really nice. It's actually really, it complements each other better than you think it would. I'll try one of these. Oh, they're not chocolate. Those are actually can, candy hearts. This is really good. The only thing is I can never find good seating. Hey, what's up? My ice cream has basically melted at this point, but after everything, normally I'd give this a seven out of 10. It's really good if you like chocolate. I'm not the biggest fan, it's good though. The strawberry that they give you as well just made it an eight out of 10. My sister loves like chocolate covered strawberries. That was really good. All for $5, it's a pretty good bang for your buck. Not gonna lie though, I wouldn't mind them just having like a strawberry Dole Whip. Because the strawberry Dole Whip is my favorite part. It's really good though. If you like Dole Whip, you like chocolate, try them. But like I said in my previous vlog, I had a watermelon Dole Whip. I like that one more. I kind of want to get it, but I just bought this, so I'm not going to today. In honor of Black History Month, celebrate soulfully. Artwork inspired by soul. B. Harris, The Village. Working on this collection was a dream of mine come true. Look at this. A beautiful piece of art here in the middle of Disney Springs. I really appreciate Disney for doing this. Okay, and that just wraps up our time here at Springs. Spent a little less time than expected here due to the fact that the WandaVision cake did not update this week. However, we're gonna go back to my house and do a PO unboxing because you guys have actually sent me some awesome mail. If you guys ever want to send me anything, uh, my P.O. Box address will be down below. Next stop, home. All right, guys, we are back home now. I changed my shirt, relaxed a little bit. The sun is starting to set here on this beautiful afternoon. However, we got some P.O. Box mail to open that you guys sent me. Now, if you ever want to be a part of this or send me a letter or anything, uh, that address is down below. Okay, here we go. This is Funko. Interesting. <laughs> okay. The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance action figure. Oh, wait a second. Wait, that's so kind. Oh, you're wearing your shirt. Oh, I remember meeting you. Hi, Judge. I thought you might like this since you like Dark Crystal. Keep up the good Disney vlogging. Your subscriber, Paul. Thanks, Paul. And Paul sent me a little picture. That's sweet. Thanks. This is from Freehold, New Jersey. Okay, we got a what? Oh my gosh. Candy. I love candy. Hi, George. I'm not sure if you remember me, but we met about two weeks at the first day of the Festival of the Arts. I do. 
I'm the New Jersey native who loves Bath and Body Works, haha. Anyways, it took a lot of courage for me to walk up and introduce myself, but you being so chill and kind helped to calm my nerves, so I'm sorry if I was a mess. You weren't a mess, you were fine. Thank you for being a friendly and patient because I just would have stood there and been super awkward. I love both you and Kyle, so I'm bummed I missed Kyle, but again, I was too nervous to ask you where he went. I've enjoyed your videos ever since you started the DCP. They have all inspired and motivated me so much to do what I love, and your positivity brings me so much joy, especially since the past few months have been difficult and you've helped me get through that bad days. But with the inspiration I got through your videos, I've decided that Disney is the place for me at the college. It's what makes me happy. Thank you again for sharing such wonderful content. I miss Disney every time I leave, and I'm a frequent visitor. My family lives there, and fun fact, my cousins work in the parks. Oh, that's cool. And I always need to feel like I'm there. I'm sorry this note was so long, but it was so amazing to meet you. And who knows, maybe I'll see you on my next trip. Most magical place on Earth. Which will have to be soon since I have bad Disney withdrawal. See you real soon, Katrina. Oh, and Katrina, yeah, I'll follow you on IG for sure. P.S. I know you love sweet tart shoes. I remember you saying you can never find them so enjoy. I also got Kyle a little something. Please give him the wrapped gifts. I will. Thank you so much. That was really sweet. Can you believe that? We've gotten two pictures today. That's so cool. You got me more candy. This is such a great way to celebrate Valentine's Day. I'm going to be eating them by myself. This is wonderful. This literally made my day, actually. Thank you so much. And now my little baby Yoda has a friend. Oh. My friend Tony actually sent me a little Happy Holidays greeting card. He makes awesome pictures. He actually has a picture in our living room, like above the couch. I'll have to showcase it on another vlog. It's super cool. But here's a little thing. Look how pretty that is. He took that picture. How awesome. Thanks, man. I have to say up to date on my P.O. box because I got another one from Christmas. Uh, it's a little cute Snoop. I save all of these, though, too. So don't worry. Don't go to waste. And I really appreciate it. It's really pretty, actually. And it is from Michael, I believe. Yeah. Wishing you a holiday decorated with merry moments and happy memories from Michael. Disney Nut 1985. Awesome. I'll check you out on Insta. Thanks so much, man. This is funny. Put a little Disney stamp on it. I was like, what? Let's see. Oh, man. What? To JoJo from Sean P. Morgan. L I R R 408 on YouTube. Enjoy. You gave me a Darth Vader gift card. Oh, thank you so much. This is my this is my favorite gift card I've ever gotten. What? That's dope. That's really dope. We are getting some very targeted gifts for me and it just makes me so happy. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Here we go. We got another box. Oh. I'm a little late, but this is still dope and I'm going to hold on to this for sure. Look at this. It's Mickey. A little Christmas ornament. Has Hollywood Studios on the back. That's so cute. I can't seem to find the message. If there was a message. So, whoever sent this, thank you so much. And uh, if you did, comment down below. I really appreciate that. It's kind of heavy. I can curl with it. It's from Kim. Look at this! Oh my, this is a whole thing of sweet tart shoes! Wow! What? The one and only Mick. What? Candy apples, candy apple lollipops for days. Okay, these are actually really good. I've had them in high school. Oh my gosh. Are these magnetic bag clips? And then we got some Mickey Mouse two-piece kitchen towels. Okay, we'll use those for sure. And we got some Mickey Mouse dish drying mat. We actually need a new dish drying mat, so this is wonderful. Spooky too, and I'm all about the spooky vibes. Mary Bright, so we have a little card here. Oh my gosh, Joe and Kyle, wishing you a fun festive holiday season. Thank you so much. Take care, stay safe. IG Jacob, TikTok Goof. Kyle, we got, you like these, right? Yeah, oh my God, you like these? I mean, I've had them, but I know you like them Holy too. Holy cow. Yeah. yeah, they're for us. Yo, whoever plugged this with this, this is amazing. This these is, are literally so good. This is, oh. this is Jared, or, yeah, this is Jared. This is Jojo and Kyle. 
Hey guys, I figured if I sent it to one of you, you both would get it at the same time. Here's just a little something to say. Congrats on the new apartment and for Dreamers. Also, thank you so much for still putting out amazing content. I'm sure you know who's candy <laughs> each other ones. Yep. I put my social media below if you want to put a face to a name. Yes, I will give you a follow for sure. I met you guys last October in the Mexico Pavilion, and I'm the one who sent Kyle the GR Puppy Plush. Do you want to light that? No, it's fine. The lighting's actually great right now. It catches my eye, see? It's fine. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Actually. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jared. What a great way to end this unboxing video. Y'all are amazing. Jeez, thank you so much. And again, if you guys ever want to just even just send like a little message or anything, if you want to be a part of my next unboxing vlog, uh, down below. Don't throw BBH. <laughs> All right, guys, what a great day. First at Springs trying that new Valentine's like Dole Whip. That was delicious. Y'all got to try that. It might be the best snack for Valentine's Day in Disney Springs. And then make sure you tune back next week because we're definitely going to try that WandaVision cake out again. And thank you to everyone from the P.O. Box. You guys are amazing. Such thoughtful gifts. We really, really appreciate it. I appreciate it. So. Thanks, so. Alex. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, again, thank you so much. Remember, every day is a blessed day to be alive. And we will see you in the next one. And again, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Joe's got to clean up now. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst part of these P.O. unboxing videos where all the boxes go after. All right. Bye, guys.